My wife and I raised our son on, on fishing and hunting, and uh, he says, Dad, if you get elected, we, I like to do an event and want to give away some fishing license. And we did just that. So this idea was born from my son, James. Uh, I just implemented it, but it is his, uh, his brainchild of him. So we, I'm grateful for my son to putting that on. But this is a great event today. We got bacon. We've got bacon, yes. We got catfish blood. Wow. We got okay, mealworms. Our goal was 1,000 fishing licenses to kids ages 10 to 17. Uh, it looks like we have uh, at least over 200 uh, participants today. I'm happy already with one kid being here. The first child that came up and got his license, that was enough for me to have a successful event. Probably a good fish like this. What are you going to do with that? Eat it. Game and Fish, uh, two days ago, stocked roughly 3,000 pounds of fish, of uh, bluegill, large bluegill, and catfish. And uh, without their efforts, none of this could have been on. But uh, they stocked the lake, and there's families out here from all age groups, from 80 years old. He's 10 now, oh, so he has awesome. to have one. So he didn't get one? Yeah. Oh, oh it's oh, wonderful. Yeah. yeah, that was great. I said, Doc, this is great, Chance. Let's go. He said, I'm for fishing. I'm in. You got it. <laughs> I'm real proud of uh, Councilmember Aldama for putting this on. He, uh, he took some initiative, uh, seeing that uh, uh, there was an opportunity here to get the kids involved back into fishing. And if you don't get the kids interested and involved in early, it's hard to get them involved. And so, uh, so he jumped out there and, and took that initiative, got started, and, and, and started asking the question, what's it take to, to, to get uh, kids licenses, and found some people that was uh, willing to sponsor it. Not taxpayers' money, but, but private citizens, and partnered with the Game and Fish. And uh, what, a, what a great turnout out here. I mean, it's, a, it's really a neat event. It's a beautiful day. The weather's about as nice as you could get. Bonsall Park is one of 36 uh, waters within our community fishing program. Right now we're currently partnered with 16 different communities across the state. But it's really not about the free licenses, it's about getting the kids engaged in a good, wholesome family activity. Our hope is that if we can get them hooked at a uh, young enough age that they'll stay engaged uh, throughout their life. You just catch that? Yeah. Wow. What is that, do you know? No. I think it's a bluegill. That's cool. Was that your first fish? No, I've caught fish before, but this is my first one here. They're getting little bluegill with mealworms about 18 inches down with a bobber. Seems to be working best. We just want to get kids excited about fishing, and we want to get them out in the great outdoors. You start here in the city of Glendale and you know, have them sign up and get a free fishing license today and uh, have them come out and have a great time outside instead of inside playing those video games. Oh, watch out, I said. The lake is actual jewel of Glendale, and it lies in the district that I serve in the Ocotillo district, but I gotta tell you, it's a, it's a lake that serves the entire city of Glendale. It's an absolute jewel, and we have to take advantage of it. Our Parks and Recreation Department has done a superb job in maintaining this, so we're really happy, and it, it, it truly is a crown jewel of, of the city of Glendale.